The reason I wanted to be a volunteer is I was out of work for a little while because I was a victim of domestic violence myself. I decided to go to university and my main passion, I really wanted to give back to women who at who were like me. People had recommended volunteering to us, so I got in touch with Changing Lives. They recommended us to 30. Once talking to the service um, about volunteering, I was asked for an interview and I met up with Natalie for the interview and the interview was quite in depth but it really gave me a chance to like tell my story and tell them why I was passionate about doing this so I really did enjoy it although it was quite in depth it was something that really helped us and i've really been supported like natalie's really like emailed us checked how i am how i'm how i'm feeling if i'm enjoying where i am if people are making us feel welcome and everyone's made us feel welcome and really really helped us my day-to-day -day responsibilities are generally i'll join like a group it's called new beginnings and it's helping women like overcome the impact of domestic violence and letting them learn the different roles of perpetrators and being more aware of that and then put, laying that arrest and moving forward um, and learning new coping skills for the future and things like that so I'll, I'll help along with that group and then I'll also be here at the refuge just listening in and learning like of like different scenarios that could come up and how to handle them and meeting the women in the refuge, getting to know them and then hopefully I'll be eventually like running like a group myself for uh, mental health for the ladies here at the refuge. You learn so much every day that I think it's definitely worth looking into and, and, and doing because you give so much back and you learn so much even just learning throughout everyday life and situations you could find yourself in you're, you're still learning a lot and it's um it's definitely really really rewarding she is really um, professional at sessions. She is really um, confident when talking to the women. She's empathetic, she chats on, she puts them at ease. But I think she's learned a lot as well and being able to use her experiences and turn it around into kind of support techniques and ways to improve her confidence in working with people, which is I know what she wants to do in the long run. So she's done a lot of training, a lot of um, e-learning, she's done a lot of hands-on work um, with, the, with the clients and she's watched um, staff in the refuge and the outreach staff, which is what I am, um, work with women and learned a lot of skills from that as well. So it's been really beneficial for both her and the clients.